Hello, welcome back to a new video. I'm back at it again with another buying the worst rated slimes. For those of you who might not know, I buy all of these on Amazon. I purposely buy badly rated ones to see if they're actually that bad. The first slime that I'm reviewing in this video is called Pre-Made Crystal Slime Pink Peach Jelly Cube Glimmer Crunchy Slime Pink Clear Slime Plus Pink Ice Slime Plus Pink Crunchy Slime Super Soft Non-Sticky Party Favorite Slime Kit for Girls 10 to 12. The pictures definitely caught my attention. They look so professional and aesthetic. There were other options but I gravitated towards the pink set. It was $11.97. It's rated 3.6 out of 5 stars which isn't the best in my opinion. I feel like people tend to view anything that's 4 stars and up in a more positive light including myself. Anything that's under is when it starts creating doubts. There were a mix of positive and negative reviews. Here's a positive one. This person said, I love it. These slimes are so cute. Only one of these were sticky, which was the clear slime, but after I put activator in it, it became perfect. The snow slime did leave snow on my hands, which others might think it's annoying, but I really didn't care. The butter slime is really cute and was not sticky. The add-ins are super cute and I loved all of them. Definitely recommend these. Thanks for reading my review. What a genuine nice review. Another positive one. Two-thirds were a hit. They were cute, fun, and smelled nice nice. One slime was a miss. Maybe it was the snow slime. Nobody wanted to play with it. Um, it's not exactly completely positive. Here's a negative review. This person said, do not buy this slime. Garbage slime. Didn't have high hopes, but receiving the cloud slime completely open and dried was a huge disappointment. I tried mixing it to see if it needed to warm up, but no, it's dry. Others arrived fine, but the whole point was having multiple textures, sticking to small shots as I have been and never ordering slime from Amazon again. Especially this joke of a company. Waste of money and time. I would love a replacement to see if this is just a one-time error. But Amazon's long drawn out return policy isn't worth it so I've effectively lost money. If I was able to receive a new slime or could be reimbursed without having to take a day to pack up and mail dried out slime, I would have just ordered again. Save your time and money and get slime anywhere else. Damn, okay. You definitely pissed this person off. Another negative review, they suck, period. First off, the clear slime was so underactivated, it was basically just glue. The cloud slime came with the lid halfway off and was dried out. I rehydrated it, but whatever additive they put in it feels nasty. The solid light pink one was actually okay for the most part. The foam cubes fall apart in the slime. The foam beads fall out of the slime and make a mess. The glitter rhinestone add-ins are as expected. So what I'm gathering from all of these positive and negative reviews is that it's either one or two of the slimes that are not up to their expectations. All the slimes came in a box and they all came intact and was packaged nicely in no particular order. I'm going to review the pink crunchy slime first. So the texture of this is similar to a clay butter slime. Before I get into that, I want to say it was really tough opening this. It required so much strength. Not gonna lie, I was getting a bit frustrated but I eventually was able to open it. It came with melty colored foam beads. The size of these are not your like normal typical size which I really like. I think they added a great touch to the slime. The only negative thing about this is if you stretch it fast it will rip so I suggest stretching it slow. It's a little on the dry side. It smelled really nice. Something like sweet and fruity. It reminds me of some lotion from Math and Body Works. Other than that I would say it's a decent slime. This next one is an icy cloud hybrid. It came with rainbow sprinkles that you can add yourself and I think that made the slime look really cute. Unfortunately, 
I wasn't a fan of the texture. It was really tight, overactivated, and not the stretchiest. Sometimes the sprinkles fall out. So with any cloud slime, I expect some snow fallout, but this one had way more than usual. I love the smell though. It smelled really nice. Definitely had hints of vanilla. Kind of smelled like birthday cake, cupcakes to me as well. This is the last slime in this set and it's a clear one. It is absolutely beautiful, especially when I took it out of the container. Oh, it is so clear. It came with these beautiful iridescent flower glitters and that took it to the next level in my opinion. It also came with this really cute peach charm. Aesthetically, it's just perfect, but the smell is just off-putting. It smelled like gas chemicals it's just not a pleasant smell at all and it definitely does not fit this slime i don't know what happened during the manufacturing or shipping process fortunately the scent was not it the texture is also not my favorite i tend to like thicker clear slimes this one is on the thinner side and it's also runny and a bit tacky i had to add some activator it makes these some bubble pops great for poking it's really stretchy i definitely experience some of the things that other customers experience where it's either one or two of the slimes that weren't the best but overall i like the effort i like the theme of this and for almost 12 dollars for three decently sized slimes it's not so bad The next slime is called Slimes DIY Bubble Tea Theme Slime 7 Ounces Thick and Glossy Textured Slime Handmade Slimes. Pictures looked amazing and professional. It was $15.67. It's rated 3.2 out of 5 stars, which is alarming. I almost didn't want to believe it because the pictures look so good and it looked like it would be a decent slime. To me, 3 stars is not that great. Here are some of the reviews. So this person said, Actual actuality decent slim slime was actually good quality for being slime meaning not super sticky and not dried out it smelled good too it's okay i like the scent it feels good and i like the boba charms as well as the fact it comes with activator it's way too sticky though and it got stuck to my clothes my skin the floor it got my hair in it and it won't come out even with activator it's too sticky i have cheaper slime that's better quality for the price there's better slime out there i hate it Literally, the only thing that this slime has going for it is the smell. It smells fantastic, but I have been having issues with this since I first received it. It is ungodly sticky no matter how much of the thinner that they included I mix in with it. It will stick to everything. Your skin, your clothes, your furniture, and any fabric that you are dumb enough to put it on. Damn! I highly do not recommend this product. <laughs> okay i was really surprised with the packaging it was so nice it even came with their business card i can assure you it is not a thinner it's activator i don't even know if thinners are a thing for slime and if they are this is the first time i'm hearing of it it also came with the accessories and the slimes that go on top the container had very nice labels very professional so it came with the syrup, which is the clear brown slime. And then it also came with some white slime, which is clay. Well, it felt like clay slime. And that is the the milk or the the possibly the whipped cream. 
put that on top and then I added in all the accessories so all the boba beads the charm and the straw and that completed the look it looks so cute mixing everything in was really satisfying and I love the beads they don't hurt my hands at all adds a great touch to the slime it was a bit tacky at first playing with it so I added a few drops of the activator and that made it better it's really stretchy it makes decent bubble pops I couldn't tell if this was meant to be scented or not because a part of it smelled like glue with a mix of like a very very mild coffee scent it didn't smell bad so that's a plus it's a little bit on the runny side I would say 3.2 stars is too low for this I would bump it up to four stars I definitely think the rating is not fair for this because it's a decent slime The next slime is called a two color party favorite scented slime funny butter slime with two fun slime add-ins DIY surprise slime for kids stress relief toy for girls boys super soft sludge toy here are the lovely pictures it was $7.99 there were other options too but I wanted the pink and white slime it's rated 3.6 out of 5 stars which isn't too bad but still it tells me why isn't it higher there's probably some flaws in this let's see what the reviews say so this person said huge letdown the only thing that was good about this was the smell it was so dry upon opening we got about 10 minutes of play before it was so dry and unmanageable the picture is deceiving slime cupcake question mark the item did not come as pictured it received a container that looks like a body scrub there's a picture of a cupcake on the container i side are the fixings to make what is shown that being said i have no idea how would you make the frosting look as pictured since it is crammed in a jar there are packets of sprinkles inside which are wrapped in a cellophane i am mildly disgusted and slightly disappointed that this is advertised for children someone may be confused about how to use Use this product not for children under 10 years old I have absolutely no idea what I just read they didn't even talk about the slime moving on to the next review fluffy and slightly dry the smell is reminiscent of Bath and Body Works in the early 2000s it comes with cute confetti pieces of hearts a large mushroom and a large donut the initial adding the sprinkles is fun but afterwards you can't see them in the slime it doesn't stretch the best but it does stretch some before breaking I docked one star because I would have liked a little more moisture in the slime the first thing that I want to talk about is the scent because it smelled heavenly oh my goodness it smelled so freaking good it smelled like strawberries I agree with the review that talked about how it's reminiscent of a Bath and Body Works scent 100% I can see that so the initial texture was not the best it was really rippy dry and just not fun to play with it required so much strength just to play with it it came with everything though it came with the pink and red heart sprinkles and the donut and mushroom charms exactly like the pictures you can clearly see the pink and white to fix it i added some glycerin and that turned it into a completely better slime it's like night and day it was stretchy again it was smooth and buttery amazing i'm going to bump it to 3.8 stars just because how amazing the texture is after I added the glycerin. I didn't bump it higher than four stars just because of the initial texture. As a consumer, I technically shouldn't have to fix the product unless activator or lotion or whatever is provided, but in this case, nothing was provided.
The last slime I'm reviewing in this video is called Premium Original Pink Cloud Slime Premium Scented Slime 7 Ounces Smooth Slime Con Peach Scented 3 Fun Slime Add-ins Party Favorite Slime for Kids Super Soft Sludge Toy da -da -da. Here are the pictures, they look really nice The peach definitely made me want to buy this And the price too, it was only $4.99 Which is really inexpensive This was rated 3.4 out of 5 stars Which is on the lower side in my opinion Let's see what the reviews say. So this person said, sandy, rubbery slime. This slime was not a cloud slime texture. It was sandy, moist, and somewhat rubbery. The squishy that came with the slime was a cute addition. Leaves a residue. This is a decent slime. The scent is that fruity chemical one that doesn't really smell like anything other than chemicals. The texture is supposed to be cloud, I think, but it really just comes off a little gritty, granulated. The overall feeling is extremely wet, despite the slime being fairly solid when I work with my hands, come away coated in residue and silico gel like crumbles of fallout. I will say it was not overly sticky, but the sensory experience was unpleasant. Fun and fruity. This slime is soft and stretchy, not sticky at all, making cleanup easy. The peach scent is pleasant and not too overpowering. The kids love the included add-ins for extra fun, a hit for parties or as a stress reliever. It seems like the common problem people mainly have with this is the texture. The first thing I noticed was the size. It was smaller than I thought. It advertised as a 7 ounce slime. This ain't 7 ounces at all. This is probably about 4 or 5 ounces. The add-ins are so cute. It comes with everything like you see in the pictures. The peach mochi squishy, the peach decoration, and glitter. I really like how the container had another lid, like a clear lid layer underneath. The color is beautiful. It's really vibrant. It smelled amazing. That was the next thing I noticed. It smelled so good. It reminded me of Strawberry Froyo. Mmm, that sounds good right now. I'm going to agree with some of the reviews that talk about how the texture is gritty. I definitely see what they're saying. It does feel like that. It was moist as well when I touched it, but I didn't really mind that too much. It's smooth to play with, but it does not stretch well at all. It rips, but if I stretch it really, really slow, it's fine. I don't want to have to do that with slimes. I like to just stretch my slimes without having to think about, oh, I need to stretch this slime slowly. I added the included glitters into it, which made it look really pretty. I tried adding some aloe vera gel to see if that will help with the stretchiness. It still felt the same. It helped a little bit. It also had a lot of snow fallout, which I already expect with cloud slimes, but this one had more. Despite all of that, it was still satisfying to play with because it sounded and felt like a slushy, and I like low-key liked it. It was calming to me. Well, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!